Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Finally, Google has released one cloud code alternative CLI tool and its name is Gemini CLI. This is their official post and they have published this CLI tool one hour ago and you will get access to Gemini 2.5 Pro for free and here you see that 60 model request per minute and 1k model request per day and this is actually huge and available free of charge it is completely open source now if i show you here you see that i have installed it in my local machine gemini cli you will get this kind of things like the cloud code and uh, it is available for any operating system windows or linux or mac you can use it okay so in this video i will show you the full procedure and step by step process that how to install it and how to use it but before that let me show you that what they are telling here you see introducing Gemini CLI, a light, powerful, open source AI agent that brings Gemini directly into your terminal. So cloud code is also used your terminal and this Gemini CLI is also using your terminal. And they have also written that write code, debug and automate tasks with Gemini 2.5 Pro with industry leading high usage limit at no cost. That means you are getting this 60 model request per minute and it is actually huge. Now in case of cloud code what I have found that if you install this cloud code for the windows it is not directly supported uh, in windows for that you have to use the WSL and the setup is very complex but in this case this Gemini CLI they have published one open source github repository and there they have given only one command if you run this command it will be installed directly in your terminal so i will show you in this video step by step procedure so stay with me but before that let me just uh, tell you a little bit about this gemini cli here you see for developers the command line interface means a cli is not just a tool it is home the terminals efficiency ubiquity and the portability make it the go-to utility for getting work done means when we are doing the coding if, if we want to if i want to do the commit then we write the commands in terminal right the git commands or there are many comments are there right and here you see that is why we are introducing gemini cli an open source ai agent it is not only an ai tool it is an AI agent that brings the power of Gemini directly into your terminal and it provides lightweight access to Gemini giving you the most direct path from your prompt to our model. Uh, while it excels at coding, we built Gemini CLI to do so much more. Means uh, it can explain the code base, it can imp uh, implement the new feature and it can do much things. Here you see it is a versatile local utility you can use for a wide range of tasks from content generation and problem solving to deep research and task management means not only the coding you can do the deep research you can uh, generate the content and you can do any kind of problem solving with the help of this Gemini CLI and uh, we have also integrated Gemini CLI uh, with Google's AI coding assistant Gemini code assist some days ago, I made a video on this Gemini Code Assist. So if you have not watched that video till now, please watch that. Okay. Now let me show you that how to do the installation and how to do the setup. So for that, I have given this repository link, this GitHub repository link in description. Go there and you will find this page and they have written these things that an open source AI agent that brings the power of Gemini directly into your terminal and the interesting thing is that they are giving access to this Gemini 2.5 Pro model for free here you see that they have written Gemini 2.5 Pro model right and uh, now let's see that how to do the setup so scroll down a little bit and there you will find uh, these things here you see first of all you have to download this uh, node.js so make sure you have uh, downloaded this i have given this node.js download link in description go there and according to your operating system just uh, download it windows uh, mac os or linux and uh, you will find the version here so make sure you have choose this uh, this latest version this is the lts latest table version okay and the requirement is uh, 18 node.js version 18 but currently it uh, this 22 version is also there so install this 22 version and after that just run this command 
here you see uh, two comments they have given one is npx another one is this npm but i will recommend you to use this npx but if you face any difficulty you can go with this npm also okay now copy this first one i am using this npx and go to your terminal card command prompt cmd in windows or in uh, maybe linux or the mac os the procedure is almost same okay just paste that npx and that one and after pasting you they will ask you that okay to proceed just press y okay and after that after some time means it will take one to two minutes to download that dependencies and after that you will find this kind of gemini is written okay in uh, neon color okay pink and this blue color and after that they will ask you to do the setup here you see that uh, they are asking for the theme setup okay here you see and see dark atom one dracula dark so if i actually uh, use the up and down arrow key okay there are four keys there right in your keyboard up down left right so use that up down arrow key to move between this uh, theme here you see it is moving so let me choose this uh, dracula theme okay it is very interesting and uh, now press enter now it is asking me to type a message here you see this is the message box and also on the right hand corner below it is showing that Gemini 2.5 Pro 100% context left that means that I have not consumed any messages till now that I have mentioned uh, in the starting of that video that you will get uh, this 60 model request per minute and 1k model request per day okay so i have not uh, consumed anything that's why it is showing that 100 percent context left okay and now what i'll do if i type any message okay suppose if i type hi and press enter you will see that this kind of error api error api key has expired blah 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 so that means you have to do the setup so what you can do just type slash and after that you will see some of the option and just uh, use that up and down arrow key so go to this auth okay now here you have to do the authentication right just press enter and after that you will see some of the options like login with google or you can use the gemini api key also now here you have to remember one thing let me show you that they have also mentioned that uh, if you need to use a specific model or require a higher request capacity you can use an api key so that means uh, uh, this gemini cli is actually powered by the gemini 2.5 pro it is a default settings that they have given in the gemini cli but if you want to use any other model like uh, gemini 2.5 plus in that case you can use this api key or if you have that subscription or if you have paid uh, model in your Gemini then you can use your own API key also but uh, for this video purpose I am using one Google account and here you see that when prompted sign in with your personal Google account and this will grant you up to 60 model requests per minute and 1000 model requests per day using Gemini 2.5 Pro and I will recommend you to go with this uh, normal authentication means this uh, this first one login with Google so select that login with Google so that you can use this Gemini 2.5 Pro for free because for coding purpose this Gemini 2.5 Pro actually beats or actually better than any other Gemini model currently available right so uh, let me go to this login with Google and uh, currently it is this green color right and press enter and here you see that my authentication got completed actually it is a security purpose so that's why I have not shown you the uh, mail that I have used for this authentication purpose but it is actually simple because uh, when you uh, just press enter in that case you will see this kind of uh, window where it will put it will ask you to put your mail id and you just put that and after that it will verify that and uh, press that continue and you will see this kind of message that gemini code code assist and gemini cli are now authorized to access your account okay now just uh, close this window they have also written that you can close this window and return to your id or terminal and just close close it now 
you have authenticated and now if I write hi and here you see that our hamsters are working as fast they can so that means I am not getting any error previously I was getting this kind of error but now I am not getting any error and also I got the response that hi there how can I help you today and guys one thing I am requesting to you that if you are visiting this channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe this channel because in this channel only you will get the detailed explanation video and also the latest video see here that Google has published this Google CLI sorry Gemini CLI one hour ago and I am making this video after this one hour so that you can get this latest information so that's why please make sure you like this video and please uh, subscribe this channel and if you have any question in your mind just let me know in the comment section now just uh, back to this video and now how do you see that uh, I, I can ask anything to this model suppose I am inside this uh, folder okay this this folder let me show you this folder and inside this folder uh, I have this index.html and style.css and javascript file now I can ask it that explain this code base to me so if I write this explain this code base to me and now if I press enter here you see refining initial grading and it will check that whole code base and it will give me the answer here you see successfully read and concatenated content from four file design.json html css and javascript and also it is explaining me see here this is a modern styling landing page for a DeFi asset defense platform this is a design.json file which i have already in my uh, folder here you see design.json file and uh, after that this are the properties which are inside this json file it is mentioning and it is explaining this index.html also and it is explaining this style.css also in a detailed way and also here you see that uh, script.js it is also explaining so in summary this is a well structured and visually appealing landing page for a product it is just modern web technologies to create the professional and engaging user experience see here within a second I have got the entire code base explanation just uh, just write these things that explain this code base to me okay and if you have not used the terminal till now please use it using this Gemini CLI means uh, if you are a developer or if you are any content creator then you will see that uh, these CLI tools are actually amazing and here you see on the right hand side below uh, this Gemini 2.5 Pro currently it is showing the 98% context left because I have consumed some of the messages till now okay so I hope that you got the idea now if I want to add any extra features to it like uh, uh, add dark and light mode feature feature to it okay now if I press enter now you will see that it will add that feature also it will take some time and you see that implementing theme switching and implement defining this light theme colors means it is actually a good AI agent that is scanning the entire code base and it is uh, reading that files that uh, what it needs to do here you see that it has added it has added this data theme attribute also and it is using this local storage means the planning and also the code it is doing so first it has done the planning after that it is writing that code okay and here you see that coding the switchers logic it is actually amazing guys you see that it has given that what editing it has done first 28 lines and hidden and it is asking that uh, apply these changes yes allow ones always uh, allow always and modify the external editor so just uh, press enter yes allow ones now after that it is uh, ready for planning the javascript functionality so it is planning these functionalities in each case maybe it is a css or html uh, it is planning all time okay please try it and uh, i hope you found this video helpful guys if you found helpful don't uh, forget to subscribe this channel 
and here you see that uh, some days ago i made a video on this cloud code alternative open hand cli also and this is the second video uh, of this cloud cloud code alternative this gemini cli and uh, also i have published the video on this memory bank feature in cursor windsor if you want to make them more powerful for the 10x productivity so please watch this video also and there are many more videos i have published till now please watch that okay so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye